We are SEGO, the Student Scout and Guide Organisation. In this talk, we'll be introducing you to some of the activities, events and opportunities that we offer and explaining how you can get involved. Hi, I'm Leon and today I'll be talking about what SEGO is, what activities we undertake and how we liaise with the Scout Association and Girl Guiding UK to deliver both volunteering and recreational opportunities to all of our members. You'll also be hearing from Tim, who will be discussing our SEGO support outreach programme and how you can start your SEGO journey, and Rose, who will be talking about our wealth of SEGO clubs, our eligibility criteria and why we do what we do. So what is SEGO? We're a national organisation which supports scouts and guides at universities across the UK, offering various national events and a strong and collaborative SEGO community. Whilst informal scout and guide clubs have existed since 1915, SEGO was founded in 1967 to help bring each of these local clubs together. We currently have over 900 members across over 40 clubs and intend to grow significantly over the next few years as we recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Through SEGO, you can either continue your scouting or guiding journey or join our community for the very first time. We have four major national events each year, three national camps called rallies and an annual ball, both of which I will discuss later on. Local clubs also offer lots of their own activities too. SEGO clubs generally meet at least once a week during term time, but some of our clubs meet much more frequently than that. We have clubs at many universities and higher education institutes across the UK, but even if your university doesn't have a SEGO club, don't worry, we also have a large independent member community that you can become a part of. SEGO clubs are run through their own society committees, and SEGO itself is run by the National Executive Committee, also known as the SEGO Exec, and each of our national SEGO assistants. We have a robust representative system where members from each SEGO club vote on new policies, amendments and strategies, and provide feedback to National SEGO to help ensure that the National Executive Committee can represent SEGO's member base as effectively as possible. So here is the current National Executive Committee. First up, we have Samir, the Chair of SEGO, who acts as the nominal head and representative of National SEGO. We have Alex, the Treasurer of SEGO, who maintains National SEGO's finances. We have Tom, the National SEGO Secretary, who takes minutes at SEGO exec meetings and performs various administrative duties for SEGO. We have Rose, our SEGO Members Officer, who liaises with local SEGO groups to help each of our clubs be as successful as possible. And finally, we have me. My name is Leon. I'm the Publicity Officer for National SEGO, and I advertise SEGO membership and our upcoming events and opportunities to both prospective members and current members across the UK. As you can see, we cover a wide variety of universities and institutions across the UK. And this list is always growing as new clubs being started each year. However, if your university doesn't have a club already and you are unable to start your own, you can always join as an independent member. So who can join SEGO? SEGO is open to all students studying at a higher education in the UK. This includes universities as well as colleges and other institutions. This means you must be studying at a level four or above course, which for most people will be an undergraduate degree. So why do we do what we do? The main thing is to enable students to stay active within scouting and guiding, as well as providing a supportive environment for those joining university, as it can often be quite a daunting experience and overwhelming at times for young people. We also encourage our members to volunteer with their local area with scout and guide groups while also providing them with opportunities to gain experience in team and event management at our national events. As we mentioned earlier, here in SEGO we have three rallies and one ball each year, where rallies are exciting weekend camps involving hundreds of students from universities across the UK, and balls are formal dinners which all of our SEGO members are invited to. Every rally or ball is elected by our members. At our AGM, annual general meeting, every year, students vote for their favourite event bids, each of which are planned and submitted by other SEGO members. 
Unlike with younger sections in scouting or guiding, where leaders plan events and young people turn up to them, all of our SAGO events are fully organised by our student members. For each event, a committee is elected and they plan everything, from the unique and exciting activities to the campsite, to the catering and more. We frequently survey our member base for our events to make sure that the opportunities we offer appeal to every SAGO member as much as possible. Each of our events has a certain theme, which is uniquely crafted for that singular weekend. For example, in February 2020, we held Roman Rally, a fantastic Sago Rally in Bath with a Roman theme, complete with a visit to the Roman site of Aquae Sulis, an awesome Monopoly run around Bath, a toga competition, and, as usual, the classic Sago Cayley. Before that, we held Birmingham Chocolate Rally, which was hosted by Birmingham Sago, where the theme was, as you might have guessed, Chocolate. We offered lots of activities like a visit to Cadbury World in Birmingham, a scavenger hunt around the University of Birmingham campus, and best of all, free chocolate. Every camp is different, every camp is unique, and every camp is incredibly enjoyable. We always make sure to keep the prices to attend our events low, to make sure that as many students as possible can get involved despite having to live on a student budget. And remember, we are a well-organised national society, with a history stretching all the way back to 1967, so our leadership and event committees are always elected by our student member base. So SAGO is truly an organisation that is run by students for students. So, what is it like to actually attend SAGO rallies? Well, let's have a look. We've got plenty of pictures from past events to showcase the huge variety of activities that we offer. There's truly something for everyone in SAGO. In the top left, we have our recent visit to Cadbury World, as I mentioned earlier. To the right of that, we have a silent disco we ran at Bath Roman Rally. It's a fairly popular activity at some scout camps, but if you don't know about silent discos, they work by offering everyone a pair of headphones, all of which are synced to music with everybody else. Usually, there's various different channels that you can listen to, so your friends may be listening to the same music as you, or they may be not. So you can sing as you like, dance as you like, and it's a really fantastic time. Our rallies always have a really friendly feeling, so everyone is welcome. And we always encourage our members to interact with those outside of their own SAGO club and get to know new people. In the bottom left, we have a hike, which is another really common rally activity. To the right of that, we have some climbing. We have a fantastic mix of both casual and adventurous activities, with dozens of activities to choose from at every single one of our rallies, so there will always be something that appeals to you. And what camp would be complete without a campfire, of course? Well, here is a classic Sago campfire in the bottom right, which is naturally a Sago camp staple. As I mentioned earlier, balls are our formal national events which occur once per year, and they're always built around a certain theme too. For example, in the bottom right we have Abba Does Abba Ball, which was a ball run by Abba, Abba Ristwith, Sega, themed around the pop group Abba, who, if you don't know yet, have just released a brand new album, which is kind of awesome. In fact, our next Sega ball is next weekend. It's called Womble, a play on words of the Wombles, the pointy-nosed mascots from all of those children's novels. And yes, each of our clubs has a mascot. In fact, Birmingham Sago's mascots are all Wombles. Now, due to social distancing, our ball next weekend will be a little bit different to previous years. So we'll be having an outdoor barbecue and more outdoor activities than usual, like crazy golf, hiking, a visit to the Birmingham Botanical Gardens and more. And we're all really looking forward to it. Now, as I said, we have camps across the UK. For example, in November, we have a camp in Durham and then in the spring we have a camp in Wales. We've had camps in Southampton, and we've had camps all across the United Kingdom, so we get to go and try out new places very often. But that's not all. We also have lots of international trips. Every four years we host a trip called Witten, which is Anglo-Saxon for the Meeting of the Wise. The very first Witten was held by Oxford University Scout and Guide Group all the way back in 1959, and that was held at Gilwell Park. For example, in 2016, Witten was held in Berlin, so we've got a picture in the top left of the Berlin Dungeons, then the Brandenburg Gate to the right of that, and climbing in the top right also in Berlin. Witten 2020 was meant to be held in Kandersteg in Switzerland, 
but unfortunately the coronavirus pandemic did put a stop to that. We've had SEGO members go to the World Scout Jamboree in the United States in 2019, the Jamboree in Japan in 2015 and plenty of other international events. We have links with the Dutch equivalent of SEGO in the Netherlands, Southampton SEGO undertook a trip to Croatia, we have very strong links with Ireland and more. And remember, all of these trips are organised by our very own SEGO members. So if you want to organise an international scouting and guiding trip abroad, you can. But just like the rest of scouting and guiding, it isn't just about all of the camps and international trips. We also have a ton of weekly meetings at each of our clubs. There's a ton of activities mentioned here, including bowling with Liverpool Sago, an escape room with Kiel Sago, campfire cooking, our very own Sago Taskmaster, hiking, kayaking, Sago Would I Lie to You, and more. Here at Sago, we do just about everything. In fact, it's likely easier to ask what we don't do. We have such a huge range of activities and such a wonderful community, and we're sure that there's genuinely something for everybody. We also have SEGO support, where our members volunteer with younger section via SEGO at awesome events like Gilwell 24. So, you're likely thinking, what has SEGO been doing over the coronavirus lockdown? Well, just like the rest of scouting and guiding, our society hasn't stopped. In fact, far from it. Our past two SEGO rallies, including Builder Rally, which was a construction-themed rally, where we also had these wonderful custom-made high-vis neck tubes like the one I'm wearing now, and also including Green Rally Yellow Rally, which was a team-based challenge rally pitting SEGO members in either Team Yellow or Team Green against each other in a series of exciting challenges, have been super enjoyable, with lots of activities like virtual escape rooms, virtual crafts, and even a virtual Kaylee, which, for the record, was really fun. Here's some more activities that we've done. A Sago Bake Off, a Sago Book Club, virtual Easter egg hunts, Sago Get Active, where lots of our Sago members did various exercise challenges, including a challenge where our participants cumulatively walked the entire distance from Land's End to Jono Goats, online games like Scribblio, Jackbox Party Pack, Dungeons and Dragons, and our very own custom Sago Minecraft server, photo challenges, and even Sago badges at home where our members have done tons of different badges, ranging from scouting badges, to girl guiding badges, to paw print badges, to our very own custom Sago badges. And our Sago community has stayed strong throughout the pandemic, with our very own super active Sago Discord server, so you can socialise with fellow Sago members from universities across the UK. So the answer to the question about whether we have slowed down during the coronavirus pandemic is simple, absolutely not. Here in Sago, we maintain very strong links with the Scout Association and Girl Guiding UK, both at a local and a national level. Cooperating with scouting locally allows us to offer easier connections to local scouting districts and counties to encourage more members to volunteer through the Scout Association. And we also offer support at local events, including via Sago support, as Tim will talk about in a bit. We help facilitate applications to top awards in scouting, like the Queen's Scout Award, as well as external awards like the Duke of Edinburgh's Award. And we often cooperate with Scout Network to run various events and challenges. At a national level, we have an official memorandum of agreement between Sago and the Scout Association, which dictates how we work together and the Scouts provide us with guidance and assistance on important governance matters. SEGO is a registered National Scout Active Support Unit, NSASU, and we therefore volunteer at national scouting events like Gilwell 24. Likewise, we also maintain very strong links with Girl Guiding, with many of the same principles applying as with the Scout Association. We encourage our members to volunteer with guiding groups, offer support at local Girl Guiding events, help our members to achieve top awards in Girl Guiding, like the Queen's Guide Award, and we work with Girl Guiding Inspire, Guiding's new 18 to 30 section, with different joint events. We also hold a memorandum of agreement with Girl Guiding UK, and receive guidance and support from the National Girl Guiding staff. SEGA support also extends to Girl Guiding events, like wellies and wristbands, held at either Fox Lease or Waddo Hall. 
As mentioned earlier in this presentation, we have Seiko support as a national scout active support unit. Just because it's a scout active support unit though, doesn't mean we're limited to just helping out at scouting events. We'll equally help out at girl guiding events. Past events we've helped out at include Girl World 24, Wellington wristbands, Winter Camp, Sparkle and Ice and Girl World Fun Days. Not only do we help out at these national events though, we'll also help out at more regional events such as your local international jamborees. At these events we can be found doing a whole range of activities. In the past we've done things such as running discos and mocktail bars to running ice skating rinks. There's really a wide range of activities you'll find us doing. And it's also great to share Sago to young people who may in the future be heading off to study at higher education level. If you're interested in signing up, simply head over to our Sago website at www.sago.org. On the homepage there, you'll find a simple form banner in the center where you simply enter your name, email address, and where you're studying if you know that. At that point, it will be sent out to the relevant committees, either the club or independent members, and they'll get in contact and let you know how to sign up fully. If you fancy joining in, we've got a few upcoming events that have been announced. In autumn 2021, we have Viking Rally, which is being hosted at Morehouse Adventure Centre on the outskirts of Durham, which is joint between our Newcastle and Durham Sago clubs. In February 2022, for our Spring Rally, we have Rally Cymru. This has been hosted at Cry Scout Activity Park, on the outskirts of Newport and that's been hosted by Swansea Sago. Looking forward to Easter 2022, we're looking forward to our first um, sit down meal after the pandemic for Once Upon a Bowl which is our annual Sago Bowl being hosted in Kiel, Kiel Hall which looks like a very nice venue. If I had to pick a favourite of these events though it's got to be Viking Rally. I'm definitely not all biased by being the chair of that offence though but hopefully I'll see you all there. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you have any questions or comments don't hesitate to get in contact with us. You can reach Sago at exec at sago.org or you can find us on social media. Thank you for listening. So thank you for listening to our introduction to Sago. If you have any questions please feel free to get in touch and we hope to see you soon.